Every road design needs an alignment, a profile, and a typical cross section. In this lesson, we're going to be working with our proposed centerline alignment. I'd like to take a look at the labels, so I'm going to increase my annotative scale to make them larger. I'll notice that the end station is in the center of my traffic circle while the beginning of the project is over on the motorway. I'd rather have this reversed so that my project begins in the center of the traffic circle. So I'm going to select my alignment and on the contextual ribbon that displays, I'm going to select the modify pull down and hit reverse direction. You'll see a dialog that will become very familiar when modifying anything relating to stations on an alignment. We accept the warning that changing the stations will change anything that's defined based off of the alignment. And you'll see that the stations have updated as they should have. If I right click and select alignment properties, we have various options for the properties of our alignment. Of course, as with any other ob object on the information tab, we have the name and style. The station control tab is where we can set a reference point as well as station equations. I'd like to have my alignment start at station 100, so I'm going to change it there. And again, you're going to get the warning dialog. That's okay. I haven't defined anything yet. Uh, so we're going to zoom in and take a look and make sure that changed. Now my begin project is 0 plus 100. Back in the alignment properties, you can see that we have options for masking the uh, display of the alignment and the labels. We have an option for displaying implied points of intersection. We have options for constraint editing. And then lastly for design criteria. Design criteria is where uh, your, most of your alignment checks will be performed. Uh, but before any kind of criteria can be applied, you have to set a design speed. Multiple design speeds can be set via stations. Uh, but we're going to set ours to 50 kilometers per hour for the whole alignment to begin with. 